Hello, Wonder Hussy here, and today I'd like to address the elephant in the room. No, there's not literally an elephant here in my office, but there is something that a lot of people ask me questions about that I've never actually directly addressed in a video before. And so I thought, since it's a blustery windy day and I don't quite want to set off on my next adventure yet, well, I'd take this time and talk to you about it. So you may have noticed that I try really hard to keep my channel mm, politically neutral. I try not to antagonize people on either side of the fence because honestly, I really don't care. I have good friends uh, on all parts of the spectrum and hey, I just like people in general and I just don't see the point in arguing. But there is one thing I do well, actually, it's not something I do, it's something I don't do that is inexplicably polarizing. And I'm sure many of you have wondered why it is that I don't shave my armpits. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to gross anybody out. I'm not trying to turn anybody on. I just want to talk about something that, for whatever reason, seems to get people so riled up. Now, I actually have a few girlfriends who don't shave their pits, but well, I guess they're either, they either have lighter colored hair than me or they're just, well, they're just not as hairy as me. You might notice I have quite the propensity to grow hair <laughs> and not just on my head. I guess I'm either, well, you could look at it as lucky or cursed <laughs> with uh, a luxuriously abundant amount of underarm hair. And yes, it's making me laugh just doing this because I know I can just tell that half of you are going bleh, thumbs down, turning off the switching to the next video. <laughs> and the other half of you are probably busting out the Jurgens. <laughs> uh, and I don't know something about the extreme reactions that something as innocuous as armpit hair provokes uh, strikes me as kind of funny. And so uh, if you were to ask me, Wonder Hussy, why don't you shave your armpits? Well, I'll tell you. It's not that I'm trying to make some kind of political statement. It's not that I'm some kind of angry man hater, blah, blah, blah. And well, it's also not that I'm lazy because I spend quite a bit of time putting on all my various lotions and potions and maintaining the rest of my body. And to be honest, it only takes, gosh, maybe 30 seconds to shave your armpits every day. So laziness doesn't even really factor into it. No, realistically, the main reason, well, there's two reasons I don't shave. One, I just don't care. Uh, and two, I guess I like provoking people. So to address the first point, I just don't care. Yeah, uh, I have not shaved my armpits since uh, it was like mid, late April of 2019. So almost two years now. This is how much armpit hair a gal can grow in two years. I think I've pretty much maxed it out. You know, you see those funny memes online of like that lady brushing her armpit hair, some Polish woman braids her armpit hair. Well, uh, I think those are photoshopped because I, like I said, I'm pretty her suit, which means hairy, fancy word for hairy. Uh, and even I can only grow this much armpit hair. I think if I didn't shave for the rest of my life, I doubt they would get any hairier than this. And honestly, it doesn't, it, not only does it not bother me, I don't even notice it other than people's reactions to them. It's not like they itch. It's not like I get extra sweaty. Uh, it's not like I get extra stinky. I mean, I still wear deodorant most of the time, but even if I didn't, uh, and it's been two years now, I would notice if I was starting to produce more body odor than I used to. And well, that's simply not the case. My furry little pit kittens, as I like to call them, just kind of sit there under my sleeves or under my hair, or whatever. Uh, and I don't even notice that they're there for the most part. That is until I go out in public wearing a sleeveless shirt, like when I used to go to the gym before COVID. Okay, I'll be honest, when they closed the gym down because of COVID, it was the best day of my life because ugh, I was pretty meticulous about going in and lifting weights, especially because I used to work as a model. Uh, I went at least a couple times a week for gosh, probably over 15 years. 15 years and I hated every minute of it. So when they closed the gym down, it was the best day of my life. But <laughs> prior to them closing the gym, when I would force myself to go in there, 
Uh, right around the time I quit shaving, I was really embarrassed at first because, well, when you're lifting weights, first of all, you get real hot and sweaty. So you don't want to wear a shirt that has sleeves. You want to wear like a tank top or a sports bra or something. But then there's just absolutely nothing to hide your armpit hair when you're doing these kind of things. And at first I was really embarrassed, like, oh God, everyone's looking at me. Everyone hates me. They're going to laugh at me. They're going to kick me out of the gym. And then I realized that, yeah, maybe a few people were looking at me and maybe even one or two of them snuck a picture and I ended up on some website somewhere. But for the most part, most of the people at the gym were so embroiled in their own miseries being there that the last thing they wanted to do was pay any attention to my armpits. So eventually I did get lax and I started wearing sleeveless shirts and just being kind of brazen about it. And well, no one ever did confront me about it. It was really only once I started a YouTube channel and got some kind of audience that, well, that I started taking a lot of flack. And I'll be fair, I did bring some of that on myself. Uh, like I said, I do, I guess I'm sort of a provocateur and I do enjoy, well, I do enjoy people's reactions, uh, whether positive or negative. And trust me, uh, there ain't nothing as polarizing as these pits, believe it or not. I mean, I either get death threats or marriage proposals, and there's really not that much in between. I guess there's probably several of you watching that are saying, hey, listen, I can take them or leave them, I don't care. Well, I don't hear from you guys, but who I do hear from are the people that go, ah, you're disgusting, you <laughs> I'm serious, I've gotten some pretty nasty comments and messages from people. Or on the opposite end of the spectrum, I get marriage proposals. Seriously, I've actually gotten at least a couple marriage proposals and they probably weren't serious from people who wanted to marry me simply for the fact that they could marry these armpits. And what's more, I even sold my armpit hair a couple of times. I know that sounds really bizarre, but uh, so I worked as a model for many years, a nude model and a fetish model. So I'm well aware and comfortable with people having various different odd sexual fetishes. And all of that was fun for a while, but then I started this YouTube channel and it started to take more and more of my time. And well, I enjoyed making YouTube videos more than I did modeling. So I kind of started dialing back on modeling and I would only do a photo shoot here or there with somebody who really, really, really wanted to hire me. Uh, so in between shoots, I just started letting my armpit hair grow out. Uh, like I said before, not because I was really lazy or anything. I just, I don't know, it just didn't occur to me to shave. Uh, and so I would, even if it was only like six weeks between shoots, I would grow a pretty decent amount in six weeks. So when I did book a shoot, I, well, I got to shave the old pits because I think just about every single photographer I ever shot with preferred clean shaven armpits. And well, they were hiring me. They were paying me to represent their ideal. So, hey, pit hair had to go. So I had already kind of started a YouTube channel at that time. I had the platform. And so I thought, I mean, these were the early days for me of YouTube before I was really serious about it as a business. So I was just kind of throwing up all kinds of wacky videos. And so anytime I shaved my armpits, I thought, oh, I'll make a video of it and throw it up online and just see what the reaction is. And boy, howdy, what a reaction it was. I mean, to this day, I think my top viewed video is, I think it's called American Girl Shaves Armpits, or I can't remember. I put up about five or six of them. And honestly, again, just reading the comments and seeing the reactions to it uh, was pretty much all I really wanted out of it. But then I thought, oh, maybe I could make some, some revenue, some money off of the videos. Unfortunately, no. Uh, if you read YouTube's terms and conditions, they don't allow any content that is intended to be sexually gratifying. So even though I'm not nude or topless or anything in these videos, it's generally just me standing in front of my medicine cabinet in my bathroom, looking at my pits. I kind of go like this, 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 and then I take out a, a razor and I go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I shave. Well, I guess well, you, the people at YouTube weren't born yesterday. They know exactly why guys are watching that entire video, or at least, you know, the first five minutes or so of it. And so those videos, well, they tend to get demonetized by YouTube, meaning that you can still have them up on the platform. They just won't put ads on them because certain advertisers would be uncomfortable having their commercials appear in a video that's intended to sexually gratify. Now, if you ask me, you know, Schick or Gillette or whoever makes shaving cream, Daisy, any of those things, they could put ads on it and probably do pretty well. But hey, for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't want to monetize those videos. 
unless it's a tutorial or a product review. <laughs> but even all that being said, I've, I haven't really made much money off of my armpit videos. My adventure videos is where the real money's at. And so that's why I haven't uploaded any armpit videos in, I think, years. Because I know most of the people watching this don't want to see that. And to be honest, I don't blame you. You didn't come here for that. And hey, I'm sorry if this video that I'm making now offends you, but I just felt like it was something that needed to be addressed. Ah, la, la, la. It does feel good, though, to let them fly. You know, most of the time when I'm shooting videos, uh, sometimes I am out in the desert and it's hot and I'm wearing a... A lot of times I am wearing a sleeveless top and I usually wear my hair back in a ponytail with a hat on, so there's really nothing to hide them. It can be tough. Uh, but I do try to keep them for the most part hidden just so as not to gross out or alienate anyone. That being said, I think probably about 10,000 of my subscribers, I'm just guessing here, I have about 150,000 subscribers, I think about 10,000 of them are only here for my armpits. You know, they came to my channel through the shaving videos and, well, they're just hanging in there <laughs> waiting patiently for me to show my pits again. And, well, I'm sorry for all of you armpit fetishists. If any of you are watching, I'm sorry that I don't do more pit videos. I feel like you probably think it's kind of a bait and switch thing, but hey, man, I, I don't know what to tell you. Unsubscribe, go follow somebody else's channel, or stay tuned and watch my desert exploration videos with the constant hope that you'll catch at least a second or two, just a brief glimpse here and there every now and then. Now, speaking of the fans who do like hairy armpits, uh, well, I was actually curious about it. So YouTube enables you to go in behind the scenes and analyze your viewers. Like you can see which countries your views are coming from, what gender, what age, all kinds of stuff. And well, what I thought was interesting is my hairy armpit videos, the views, come almost entirely from Middle Eastern countries or India, Pakistan, that part of the country. Like such an overwhelming percentage are from Islamic or Middle Eastern countries and India that, well, I got curious and I wondered why that was. So I uh, did me a little Googling and what I found out completely blew my mind. Now you can and should look all this up for yourself if you're curious, but uh, gosh, I read a whole bunch of different websites that all pretty much said the same thing. In the Islamic religion, it's actually considered, uh, body hair is considered taboo for men and women, okay? I guess if you're like extremely rigidly orthodox Muslim, you're meant to remove, men and women are meant to remove all their body hair from the neck down, okay? Men and women. So you see these, you know, crazy suicide bomber type Al Qaeda guys on TV that have like the long hair up in a turban and a long scraggly beard. Well, I guess if they're strictly observant Muslims, <laughs> the body hair ends there. You never really see them naked. You know what I mean? I haven't seen that. <laughs> I haven't seen that Playgirl Al Qaeda spread yet. So I can't speak from personal experience. But from what I read online, uh, if they're really strictly adhering to the strictest form of Orthodox Islam, they're meant to remove all their body hair from the neck down. And I think one art, one website I read said it was more of a thing back in like the, in the medieval times or the you know, Renaissance times, uh, I guess for cleanliness issues, but they would, you know, the Middle East has a big tradition of bathhouse culture. So I guess they would go into the bathhouse and women would wax with like a mixture of uh, sugar and herbs. They would wax all their body hair. And the men, I guess it was more common for men to shave with a, a razor blade. But yeah, both men and women remove all their body hair. Uh, for men, the beard is allowed and the hair on the head, of course. But for women, I think women are allowed to remove hairs that are unnatural. So like if you grow a mustache or something as a woman, you can pluck that. But you're not allowed to pluck your eyebrows. There's all these weird arcane... <laughs> regulations regarding body hair in uh, Islam. It's pretty interesting and I do definitely encourage you to look it up and read into it. It's fascinating. And when it comes to armpit hair in particular, I think both armpit hair and pubic hair are supposed to be removed, either plucked, waxed, or shaved at least once every 40 days. I think that uh, holds true even today. Uh, I'm not Muslim, but if anybody watching this video is, please comment below and either confirm or deny this. But it's not like I just read one website. I read a bunch of different websites and they all pretty much said the same thing. So I feel like I kind of did my research on this. 
And when it comes to the viewers that I have from India, well, there's a lot of Muslims in India, so I'm guessing those viewers must be Islamic or maybe there's something in the Hindu religion that has to do with body hair too. I don't know. I didn't have time to do all that research, but I just thought it was really interesting and it totally explained why all my hairy armpit videos. <laughs> Did somebody say hairy armpit videos? <laughs> Why all those videos have so many views from that part of the world? I mean, I guess if you're practicing a religion in which body hair is seen as unclean, well, seeing a woman with body hair is like the ultimate taboo. And I guess it just turns some people on. And hey, that's fine with me. I have no problem with turning people on. I mean, if this floats your boat, who am I to deny it to? It doesn't bother me at all. You know what I mean? Like I really only have one ambition in life and that's, well, that's just to make everyone's life just a little more interesting and enjoyable. And well, I mostly do that by showing people cool stuff out in the desert and out in the world at large. But I guess for some of you, well, showing my armpits can do the same thing for you. Anyway, like I said, this is about almost two years worth of armpit hair growth. Incidentally, I don't shave my legs either, but, uh, well, I guess depending on how you look at it, fortunately or unfortunately, my legs don't get super hairy. Uh, well, let me see. I'm not sure you can see there. Uh, there's, yeah, I guess they are pretty hairy, but I don't know, from a distance, you really can't tell. Uh, and I should know because I've shot all those, uh, calendars, you know, I shoot a calendar every year. Pardon me, gotta put my sock back on. It's a cold day. Uh, I shoot a calendar every year, a cheesecake calendar, and uh, I try to hide my armpits by, you might notice if you have one of the calendars, I've either always got my hair in pigtails or hanging down in such a way uh, that my armpit hair doesn't show. But the leg hair, I mean, look at the calendar right now. There's plenty of full length pictures of me in it. You can't even see the hairs. They just don't show up unless you're, well, unless you're looking right up close and personal with a magnifying glass and you shouldn't be that close to me anyway. In fact, I've thought about getting a, a little tiny tattoo that says, if you can see these hairs, you're standing too close to me. <laughs> you know, like those bumper stickers you see, if you can read this, you're following too close. Well, same thing, but with my leg hair. Anywho, that's pretty much the story with my armpits in case you ever wondered. And even if you never did wonder, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. The answer is, Tra la la, I just don't care. But that being said, I know a lot of you do. And so my solemn vow to you, my dear armpit hair hating friends, viewers, fans, well, ex-fans, ex-viewers by this point, <laughs> my solemn promise to you is that I will continue to maintain my armpit hair hiding policies. Uh, in my YouTube videos. Uh, if I do inadvertently let a peak flash every now and then, well, don't hate me for it. I'm trying. And for the rest of you, those of you who do enjoy thick, luscious, full, soft, beautiful hair, well, I'm gonna give you a little bonus here at the end to enjoy however you see fit.